Our immediate reaction to these images could be, I did not cause any of this, or I wasn't there when it happened. But it is a fact of life that for some of us, life just worked out the wrong way. Whether we allow circumstances to just sweep us along, or whether we cause our own misfortunes or bad luck, the matter of the fact is that for some of us, life is a never-ending uphill grind, a struggle. No frills, no joys. Life is simply hard. Our next reaction may be, okay, but what about their people? Why can't their own people take care of them? Where are they? The question, who are their own people, is really the core of my conversation with you. Who on earth are own people to the downtrodden, the hard up? We'd like to think that there's an aunt or a nephew somewhere in the background, own family. But that's just another way of playing hide and seek with responsibility. Own people are those who step closer to help. Own people are those who hear and see and help. Often the question is, what kind of help? Most of us think in terms of money and what money can do. Money can go a long way, a very long way, to provide physical needs, food, clothing, toys, little things here and there. Yes, money is a huge help, really huge. But then there is also the kind of help that could start the healing process of many a bruised spirit and mind. For instance, teaching someone to read and write or raising a child's expectations and efforts to become more than his immediate world. Helping to prevent the abuse of women and children. Or even prevent an old man being robbed of his last bit of self-respect. All of us received talents. Our Creator gave them to us to be used and multiplied. The question is, what is my talent and what is your talent? Have we really, really searched our hearts and minds to find our talents? And which of our talents are only gathering dust in the vast possibilities of our lives? Now, can we imagine what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes to live under their roof? For how long can we maintain our dignity when cardboard, plastic and iron sheets construct our home sweet home? We all realize that our environment influences our future, our expectations, our goals and our accomplishments. It is our objective to build whole new environments for broken people. What about joy? Is there joy when talents are in full swing? You bet! Joy is there when, for the first time, someone sleeps safely or, for the very first time, has the opportunity to become part of a successful future. Or, even for the first time, when someone raises his head saying, I am alive. Could there be even greater joy? Absolutely! When the first time becomes every time. And when every time builds the road to a new beginning, a new future, a new life. If you've never had a significant first time, a life-changing opportunity, then this letter, this reminder, is your first time to find and uncover your talents that may become a first time for many others. Let us show that there is a different way to be in this world, in humility and gratitude. Thank you for watching and listening. Please let us know about your talents.